Hey everyone, in this video, we remember some celebrities who died on this day, November 6, and in the recent last few days. If you like our videos, please leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel to help us grow our family with you. Jean Tierney, born on November 19, 1920, and died on November 6, 1991. Actress Jean Eliza Tierney was a legend in Hollywood and on Broadway. She became a leading lady after being hailed for her stunning good looks. Tierney's portrayal of Laura made her famous, and her role as Ellen Berendt Harland in Leave Her to Heaven earned her an Oscar nomination for Best Actress. In addition to Heaven Can Wait, other films in which Tierney has appeared include The Razor's Edge, The Ghost and Mrs. Newell, Whirlpool, Night and the City, the mating season, and the left hand of God. Turney passed away in Houston on November 6, 1991, from emphysema, only 13 days before she would have been 71. Takeoff. Born on June 18, 1994, and died on November 1, 2022. Takeoff, whose real name was Kirshnick Carrie Ball, was an American rapper. The hip-hop group Migos, which he formed with his uncle Quavo and second cousin once removed Offset, brought him the most fame. The group's singles, Motor Sport, which featured Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, Stir Fry, Walk It Talk It, and Bad and Bougie, which included Lil Uzi Vert, all reached the top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. Two Grammy Awards were nominated for him. A legal action accusing takeoff of sexual battery, assault, false imprisonment, gender violence, and interference with civil rights during a Los Angeles party in June 2020 was made public on August 5, 2020. Takeoff was shot three times in the chest and head at 810 billiards and bowling in Houston, Texas on November 1, 2022, resulting in his immediate death. Betty Davis Born on July 26, 1944, and died on February 9, 2022. Betty Davis was an American singer, composer, and fashion model. She was Miles Davis's second wife, and she was known for her sexually explicit songs and shows. She was well known as a model, but she was becoming less and less interested in her job because she thought it didn't take any talent and only required beauty. In 1973, she released her debut album simply titled Betty Davis. She released two more studio albums, They Say I'm Different and Nasty Gal, her first for a major label, on Island Records. Davis was a cult icon as a performer, even though her lyrics and style were very sexual and caused a lot of controversy at the time. Davis, who was 77 years old when she passed away on February 9, 2022, succumbed to cancer at her home in Homestead, Pennsylvania. Carol Matthews, born on September 13, 1920, and died on November 6, 2014. Carol Matthews, who is also known as Jean Francis, was an American film and television actress. Matthews won the title of Miss Chicago in 1938, which earned her a trip to Hollywood and a screen audition. She tried out for the Earl Carroll Follies while in California and was cast in a role in the upcoming 1939 production. Matthews used the alias Jean Francis for a few movie cameos this year. In 1950, she played Karen Jackson in With a Silk Thread on Broadway. On November 6, 2014, she passed away at age 94. Margaret Field, born on May 10, 1922, and died on November 6, 2011. Margaret Field was an American actress who was usually called Maggie Mahoney after she married actor Jock Mahoney. She was the mother of actress Sally Field and appeared in a lot of TV shows and movies, including the classic science fiction movies, The Man from Planet X and Captive Women. When Field was performing at the Pasadena Playhouse, Paramount Pictures scout Milton Lewis saw her and signed her on the spot. She played Linda Osborne in the 1960 production of The Case of the Nine Dolls. On November 6, 2011, at the age of 89, Field passed away from cancer in her Malibu, California residence. Annetta Corsot. 
born on November 3, 1933, and died on November 6, 1995. Annette Louise Corsault was an actress and writer from the United States, famous for her roles in shows including The Andy Griffith Show, Matlock, and The Blob, she is a household name. In the middle of the 1950s, she moved to New York City to launch an acting career. Steve McQueen and Corsault both had their acting debuts in the 1958 cult classic horror picture The Blob. She played Irma Howell in the CBS sitcom Mrs. G Goes to College for two seasons. She never settled down and started a family. Corsault died of cancer in Los Angeles, California on November 6, 1995. Thank you for watching our video and remembering those celebrities who have passed. You may comment below on your favorite celeb among them. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Please subscribe to our channel to keep getting videos like this and to become a part of our family.